Hey guys, the theme with a lot of my videos lately has been about reclaiming power and finding home and security within. One of the reasons so many people don't find home and security in their own power within is because there's this cycle of codependency that we're being conditioned into without even knowing it. I'm going to show you some of the ways that this happens without people even knowing it, showing you how it sort of plays out relationships, friendships, work relationships, things like that, and how to end this cycle of giving our power away or thinking it's somewhere outside of us for the last time and coming home to your truth. Watch this video. So if you're new to my channel, a brief description of me is I've been doing this work for 20 years. My own story of my original wounding happened in childhood when I was labeled with ADHD at the age of seven because I had different thoughts creative thoughts that didn't fit into the structure of the system and at the time the best way for them to deal with kids like me was to put them on a drug to make them conform to the system's way and I spent a lot of years um, sort of undoing the emotional wounds that happened because of that one of those huge emotional wounds was really not being able to claim my own truth my own perception of reality trust my own self instincts, thought processes because I was told from a young age that they were wrong and I should do them differently. And as I coach many, many people who go through this because of different reasons, but it's a similar pattern, I notice that it is one of the root causes of codependent behavior, of love addicted behavior, of other kind of addictive behavior, of relationship issues, of basically a disconnect from our own inner guidance. And so after many, many years of healing my own wounds and studying many others and helping many others, I really want to talk about this one subject because I see it as a theme in almost everyone that I see. There is some sense of we've given away our power in some way. There's some sense of I don't trust myself in some way. There's some sense of I'm compromising myself in some way. And the root belief systems behind that is because if I totally own myself and do it my way, I will either get rejected, I will be left out, I won't be like the others, I will be different, I will be alone, I will be unlovable, I'm unworthy. So this pattern, as you can see, plays out in so many different ways, but the interesting thing and the thing that I really love to focus on a lot is seeing it in our relationships. A lot of people who have this experience are born highly sensitive, which a lot of highly sensitive people think different, think outside the box. We don't have extreme boundaries, I call them internal and external boundaries, because we feel too much. There's too much empathy. Your feelings are my feelings. But also, a lot of people are actually created into hypervigilant behavior or high sensitivity because there was a lack of boundaries. So it's both. But regardless, when there is a lack of boundaries, meaning I'm not sure of what I feel when I'm around this experience, emotion, power, authority, whatever, opinion. When I don't know what mine is, I mold into yours or I start to feel weird because of my conditions. This is very conditional living. When we feel like that, when there's no boundary of, oh, this doesn't feel good, but I'm not going to speak up just in case I'm wrong, the self-trust. We have a lot of issues in relationships when that happens because we date people or marry people who are narcissistic or have a false confidence that we don't have or we date people who are literally crazy because we go with the flow. This, this is, there's so many of these things. Or we become love addicted and we just need the next person so we know who we are. The root cause of all of those relationship issues, in my opinion, is not having your own voice totally attached to your own self. Meaning, I just coached a client this morning who's a very good example of this. I won't mention names. She would do what we call freeze. There's fight, flight, and freeze when we have a fear response coming up. She would freeze in the face of fear. And I asked her, what were you really afraid of? Were you afraid of what that guy was going to do to you? 
She said, yes. I was very afraid of what would happen, what he was going to do, what he was going to do. I said, I don't think so. I think if you were to tell him, don't do that, I don't feel good with that, this is not going to work, you'd be okay. But I think what you were really afraid of is that you didn't trust yourself to protect yourself from something that didn't feel good because you don't trust what you feel. And she sat there and she was like, yeah, yeah, why do I do that? I said, why do you give your power away? Because you don't trust what you feel. So few of us are taught to follow what we feel because like me as a child, if I follow what I feel, I'm not going to be like the majority, which means I'm not going to fit in, which means that's wrong. So they're going to make you fit in. And if you start to realize that you need, for me it was Ritalin, you need a drug or you need an opinion or you need something to make you normal, to trust that, you're not going to trust your naturalness. My story was coming full circle back to my naturalness, and this happens a lot with kids that have strong will, like me. Extremely strong will, but it's outside the box. People who have strong will and it works with the system and it's inside the box, totally different story. But usually people who have high sensitivity or boundary issues actually know exactly what's right for them. They just don't have the confidence to speak up on their own behalf because they haven't been trained that you can trust what you feel. That is your inner guidance system. When we get real about how we feel, we heal these patterns of believing that I need to be any different, that I need to be a way that fits into anything, that I need to conform in any way that doesn't feel good to me or do anything because others want me to do it or think that I should if it doesn't feel good to me. This is a really important subject. Specifically, I want to just say, if I were to use my own life as an example, if I didn't do the healing work and come back to self and come back to my inner guidance and come back to this ability I was given as a child to do things differently, to see the world differently, to think differently, I would never be doing this purpose work that I came here to do. I would never have the guts to go on YouTube and be like, this is my story and this is what I feel about it. But all of us have the ability, now the light's coming in, it's a sign. All of us have the ability to own our truth and be exactly what we came here to be, but we can't be what we came here to be when we're trying to conform to be something that someone else thinks we should be. So my message today, the light is getting too bright. <laughs> my message today is healing these patterns of codependency, love addiction, and unhealthy relationships. Unhealthy relationship to self is at the core, not trusting Self and inner guidance is at the core. So what do we do about that? Well, I have a few courses that I designed below for you. I'm in the middle of designing three new courses, highly sensitive teenagers, codependent relationships, and one that I won't mention yet because I'm very excited about it. It's going to be a surprise. Check it out below. Please join Truth Room Tribe, my monthly membership if you haven't already. The light just keeps getting brighter, so I'm going to end the video now. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon. Namaste.